Now let us talk about world building. There are four worlds that they had to build. One is the world of Kashi, very well built as you can see. Now some people are comparing it with Dune movie. No, it is not Dune at all. Because in our Kalki Puran also it is given that whenever uh, Pap will increase so much, the sin will increase uh, so much, Adharma will increase so much that even uh, rivers like Ganga, Godavari, Yamuna, uh, they will ascend to the heaven. That means they will dry off on the land. At that time, Kalki avatar will happen. That means at that time, Vishnuji will take his 10th avatar and that is Kalki. Okay, so this is that time. So if the rivers have ascended to the heaven, that means the rivers have dried down. Then what will happen to the soil? The soil will disintegrate and form this kind of dust. Right, so dust has to be shown. This is not even uh, uh, this thing, you know, uh, you're not uh, showing sand, uh, to be honest, but mostly you're showing dust over here because it is all fertile land. These are the Ganges, these are the uh, uh, Ganga Maka Tat, maybe. And uh, so definitely it has a lot of mitti. It is not the wraith, it is mitti. It is, uh, it is uh, dust, uh, soil, it is not desert, it is not sand. And uh, you will also notice that, uh, you know, Prabhas, whenever he is shown in these scenes, there is sweat. You have to show that sweat. You cannot be like, okay, see my recording or I, that is not shown. He is shown sweaty. Yeah, in the vehicle, of course, there might be AC, but outside he is always shown sweaty. That kind of attention of detail is given. Very good. I loved it. Everybody is sweaty whenever it comes to Kashi. In Sambhal, it is not so sweaty. Okay, so I will come to that Sambhal also. Now let us see the other uh, world that is Shambhal. Shambhal or Sambhal. So uh, this is another hidden city. It is in the Himalayas. Okay, so now in the Himalayas, it will be cold, right? So now people are not all that sweaty. Okay, but then they are not in AC again. So, you know, it's not very sweaty, but it is still, you know, uh, yeah. this is this is how the people will be. You know, I think a few of these scenes are from Kashi, but... Uh, uh, this, 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 this is from Shambhal. See, whenever they are doing some arduous work, like they are fighting somebody at that time, sweat is shown. Great job. Great job with the sweat and realism shown everywhere. Then the third thing is, the third world is Kurukshetra. What is Kurukshetra? Kurukshetra is the biggest battlefield in the world so far. That is the Kurukshetra battlefield. Uh, the story written about uh, the war in Kurukshetra is called as Mahabharat. It was written in the form of poetry. So it is the biggest poem ever written and that's why it's called as an epic. Okay. And one small part of that epic is called as Bhagavad Gita where Krishna ji uh, was explaining to uh, Arjun why he has to fight this war of Dharma against his own brothers and sisters. Okay. He has to fight it. So for, for that, whatever he explains, that is called as Bhagavad Gita. So Bhagavad Gita is a small part of Mahabharata epic. Everything is written in the form of poem. Okay. Uh, so this is the third world that they built. So that is why I said it's not the world of Mahabharata. It's the world of Kurukshetra. Mahabharata is a description of Kurukshetra battle. Okay. So here uh, uh, you see how grandiose this world has been created. Everything is very well done. Uh, it has a special tinge to it, which shows that this is history. Okay, this is not the present time. You will see some kind of a orangish tinge to everything. So it indicates that this is not the present. This is something different. Okay, this is what many people do. Like in Matrix movie, if you see, there was a green tinge whenever you are in Matrix. But in the real world, the green tinge is gone. Okay, this is the beauty of cinema experience. So as soon as you realize, oh, this is history. So, uh, you know, subconsciously it tells you that this is history because you see that tinge, you associate it with that history. Okay. Then the fourth world is complex. Uh, complex is also okay. Uh, very well done. Complex, whenever you see anything related to complex, there's a yellow tinge because there's a lot of gold cladding given. Uh, the reason is that uh, complex is being controlled by Yashkin, whose body is under the control of Kali, Kali is the demon, right? Kali is that demon which can reside in gold, okay? And that's why you see this meditation room full of gold, golden room, everything is golden. The globes that are there are also golden. Mostly gold is used and then black color just to signify evil. So black and gold, that is all that they have used 
in making this world even in this uh, robot it is basically a shade of black and gold they have used this black and gold so nicely over here their costumes black and gold black and gold everywhere black and gold this gives you an idea that kali resides in gold so this is under the control of kali and everywhere else you do not see gold anywhere you don't see gold in shambhal you don't see gold in kashi you don't see uh, yeah of course in mahabharat you will be seeing gold but otherwise normally normal people are shown, shown to be not just poor but destitute that 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 message is a poverty at that time so no uh, sign of gold in kashi is shown but then uh, wherever complex starts or this thing then yeah there is a lot of gold okay so this is the power of world building and that is why ss rajamouli who made rrr kind of a movie which has so much of world building uh, who uh, did uh, bahubali kind of a movie which has so much of world building he also praised uh, nag ashwin the director of this movie and he said that you know the world building is classy very good uh, he used the word uh, uh, amazing amazing world building okay so this is the reason why the world building is great ye hai amit shirasa amit shirasa amit shirasa amit shirasa